course, we'll be staying here with the commentary on Mat 7 up until the middle of the afternoon, at which point we'll transfer the commentary over onto Mat 3. That's Championship Mat on your feed. And Kip. now underway, Leandro Lowe in the white gi up against Gabriel Arge, the fresh young black belt from Gracie Baja. He needs to tie low up and get most likely into some sort of 50-50 Irish. He's got to really tie low up because you don't want this guy all over your guard. It's very dynamic. Wow, nice, nice sweep there. That's a two-point reversal for Gabriel Arge early in this match. It's yeah. usually Lowe who's the, 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 the strong starter. The, the, yeah. The, the now Lowe answers with one of his own. That's two points. Yep. 2-2 two, two on the board already. But Gabriel almost coming up there. So now it's locked his guard, but it's not actually a guard. It's Lowe's not a guard. Lowe's got one leg forward. However, it's across the body. It's yeah. not into the half guard. I gotta say, Gabriel Arsh, he's going straight at him. He's, yeah. he's, he's not hanging anything, uh, <laughs> leaving anything back. Now see if, if Gabriel can tie up Lowe's left sleeve. He may be able to sweep to the left, but uh, is it gonna be an awkward position here? Is Lowe's gonna most likely turn, but uh, or kick his leg back through. Looks like he, what he wants to do. Gabriel comes up and with an ankle pick, look at that. Going to score two more. Wow. Back off. Oh, sweep. Yeah. Back. <laughs> Scissor sweep from the half guard. Leandro Lope. This is incredible. This is just going back and forth. Oh. Oh. Look at this. This is great. <laughs> oh, advantage on the board. So four apiece. One advantage for Gabriel Arge. And if there were any questions about Gabriel Arge's relative inexperience compared to Leandro Lowe, I think Gabriel has got, <laughs> he's proved that he deserves to be there. Yeah, and that he can put points on the board against somebody like Lowe. Well, many other grapplers would love to be able to say that they could do the same thing, but... Yep, got a little gi rip, another... Yeah. I don't know what's going on with the geese this weekend, but that's the third <laughs> gee we've seen so far. That's, um, either the guys have been uh, washing their geese in bleach or everybody's been seriously working their grip training. <laughs> 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 well, yeah, in the meantime, just while we're taking a quick break to sort out this little wardrobe malfunction, <laughs> we um, just looking around the mat. Mat one, black belt middleweight division. John Satava's in action up against Felipe Cesar Silva. Up next after that, JT Torres back in action. The first major tournament we've seen him since last year. And he won pans obviously last year at lightweights. Coming back this year at middle. He had knee surgery in the, the latter half of 2015 and took some time off. Well-known internet personality. <laughs> And Alf Gracie, black belt, Kurt Oceander up on uh, Matt Four. There he is. Such a, a very prolific competitor, Kurt. A late yeah. starter in jiu-jitsu, but certainly didn't hold him back. No, sir. And now back in the action here on Matt Seven. So what I suggest is for you watching at home, fire up the split screen. Leave Matt Seven open so that you can Whoa. stay in tune with Leandro Lowe, that our absolute finalist later today, but right here in the middle heavyweight division right now against Gabriel Arge. And it looks like Lowe is close to getting that knee to the mat on the far side. Yeah, he punched that underhook in, classic low knee cut where he just dives, dives in with that underhook. But now- Good uh, guard recovery yeah. there from Arge. Gabriel gets out of that. Overhook De La Hiva. See. Gabriel, nice. Uh, he's off balancing low well. But again. There again, low tries to punch that underhook through. Now 
Now he's done it again here. Got the underhook on that far side. This is classic Leandro Lowe. He's a little tighter now. Definitely his preferred passing position. He's so good at this, both gi and no gi. As soon as he punches that far side underhook, Anika, it seems. Oh, Gabriel, look at this. Great guard recovery. Yeah. Climbing the leg up from Gabriel Arge. Wow. Yeah. The youngster from Gracie Baja just, you cannot count him out. He's doing so well in this match so far. I mean, this is Leandro Lowe we're talking <laughs> about. You know, this is a guy who got his black belt less than, I think it was six months ago. Yeah, five months ago, he got his black belt at the podium in November at the Nogi Worlds. And he's going head to head with one of the best pound for pound grapplers in the world. This is incredible. Yeah. See if he can keep low tied up. Gonna go underneath here for deep half. Sort of an X guard here. Let's see if he's gonna come back to the top. He kicks that, if he can kick that leg back around. Nope, now he's going 50-50 here. Low gonna look for that toe hold. Well, Gabe's gonna come up on this. Nope. Got the foot stuck in the gi at the back there, it seems. But you did say that Gabriel Arge, if he could lock up low in the 50-50, that he actually had a good chance of, uh, of slowing the match down and, and scoring a couple of important points. Yeah, I think, I think that it, it, it could be a key for him. There's five and a half minutes remaining. Amazing to think that this match isn't even halfway through. I know. Five and a half minutes <laughs> remaining. Four points apiece, one advantage. So it's actually Gabriel Arge who's in the lead right now. Wow. And let's see if he elects to backstep hard. There it is, and come up because he has the grip to do it. Low fighting for that single leg. Drives. That. Gabe puts him down. It's wow. two more. Well, that's two for Gabriel Arge now. Six, four for Gabriel Arge. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I, this is one of those matches. I can't take my eyes off this match, this really. Great here. Gabriel seemed to found, he's, he's found out what works for him against Lowe very quickly. Yeah, it takes other grapplers. They, they never find out what works yeah. for them. He's, able, he's been able to tie low up. Score. Now let's see if he can do something that he hasn't done so far as be able to maintain the lead, at least on point-wise. Yep. So far, every time uh, Gabriel Arsh has scored, low has answered soon after. But right now, it's Gabriel Arsh who's ahead, six points to four. And I'm sure he'll want to ride that points advantage or that point lead for as long as he can. Yeah. However, there's still a lot of time. Almost four and a half minutes remaining in this <laughs> bout. A lot of time left. But in the game of sweeps, Gabriel has an advantage here if, if, because if it's just sweep for sweep, he's going to be in the lead there as long as he doesn't get his guard pass. So. Well, that one advantage as well, very yeah, important. That's He's it. doing so well. Oh, there it is. There's the sweep from low. Okay, so six points apiece. One advantage. Oh, oh passing attempt from low. Got around well there, but now it's going to be the other side. But Gabriel is just really tying low up well here, so. Foot on the bicep, almost triangle attempt. Lowe does a good job of circling that right hand out. The lasso there. Guard retention and that, that collar and sleeve control of Gabriel Arz so far. Oh, oh, we oh. see now. This is it. Lowe finally does it. Gets a three point, settles into the side control. Now, 9 6 to Leandro Lowe. Three and a half minutes on the clock. This is a decisive moment. Yeah. Look, I think Lowe's going to look to go knee on stomach here. 
Try to get two more. Looking for a, almost a reverse American. two, yeah, yeah, yeah. Americana style. He can actually get a, 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 a shoulder lock from that position, yep. but he'd really have to catch low sleeping to actually get him with that. Yeah. There you go, let go of the sleeve grip now. Lowe gets his arm free. Looking for a Kimura. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Lowe really settled down now. Yeah. I... Jailbreak type side control escape. Really. See if Lowe goes knee on stomach to try to open up a little bit more point spread. There it is. Well, that foot in the lapel, giving Gabriel Arge the space to recover to the guard. However, he's down three points now. It's one advantage apiece, but it is 9-6 in favor of Leandro Lowe. We are about two minutes and 10 seconds left in the official clock. Gabriel Arge done so well to, to score so highly on the, on the board to, at this point. Um, I mean, that pass from Lowe is obviously the deciding factor in the match so far, but simply getting to this point. Wow, Gabriel Arch has really impressed me so far. Yeah, he's done a fantastic job of tying up Lowe's legs. And he's not out of the game. We've got a minute and 40 seconds left. He's working his guard. He already showed that he can sweep Lowe. Scored three sweeps against Lowe so far. On the There's rise. a nice spider guard attempt. Yep, trying to get underneath there. There it goes. Try to circle that left leg underneath. Now he's in the seated guard. Hello again. Punching oh, that under punch hook. that underhook. But with the lapel. Oh no, he gives it up. That's another pass yeah. for Leandro Lowe. Three points. Now 12 6 to Leandro Lowe. One minute left in this match. This is all Leandro Lowe. Yeah. Well, I've got to say, Gabriel Arge, that was pretty incredible. He went after Lowe fearlessly in the opening phase of this match. Head to head with the, just the, you know, such an incredible champion like, like Leandro Lowe. But I think this is where Lowe's experience is really yeah, kicking in. Absolutely, all the pressure of that monster passing your guard. Is able to free the grips and get by. Uses classic uh, underhook on that knee cut. Toe hold coming up for Gabriel. But Be careful of the knee bar here. Well, they go to the edge of bounds and just mm -hmm. back out now. Yeah, but just 10 seconds left. Yeah, Gabriel Arge, he really impressed me so far in this bout against the Andrew Lowe. I think that the score says it all. Even being able to rack up three sweeps on Leandro Lowe is a pretty incredible yeah. feat. I'm sure that will give him a big confidence boost going into. Worlds, maybe some fine tuning on some of the things that might have gone not his way, but that's going to probably be all she wrote. There it is. Impressive guard passing by Lowe. Fantastic. The, those two guard passes by Leandro Lowe with the deciding factor. It was three sweeps apiece, but the extra six points on the board came. Oh, plus the two for the knee right game via his trademark passing from that underhook position yeah. and the knee cut. Really, just such a quality.